Welcome, Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is going on? We have creation here, okay? And focus. On the deck is power. So somebody's got some kind of ability to be able to manifest, to create something, to make something happen. There's possibility here for change. Somebody needs to stay focused. They can't keep getting distracted or keep changing their mind. Okay, let's see. What is going on here, please, for the collective Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? going on here please for Libra all right your energy at the top their energy at the bottom this is general though so it can be flipped or reversed okay six of swords you could be down the water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces and the person's energy Yeah, very strong water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mm. We have a little bit of air here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Three of Swords under the deck. Ten of Wands, a Chariot. I mean, it could be any sign that you're dealing with, but that's really prominently coming through. Somebody's heartbroken over something. This is really un not easy. Okay, here, here's what I honestly feel like. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? I feel like somebody is leaving a situation. It's not easy to do. Like they may be telling someone it's over. Maybe they're in love with someone else. But somebody might start crying and it might pull at their heartstrings or make them confused. Somebody's just not happy anymore. But they maybe they've held on because they didn't want to hurt this person. They've tried to make it work. But they're just not happy anymore. Let's see. Let me grab. We're going to pull a couple clarifying cards from this deck. So, what's going on here, please? Talk to us about the situation for Libra, please. What is going on for the Libra Collective? Okay, so the ones that flipped over. Yeah, we have wife here. Somebody could be leaving a long-term commitment or possibly someone that they, ha they may have children with setting some kind of clear boundary with this person. They might be moving out. We have journey, old woman, letter, and then we have merchant. And for me, the merchant card often kind of talks about someone who's like selling a story or someone, um, I mean, it could have many meanings, but I feel like this is somebody who's trying to manipulate another person. You, know, you kind of get that used car salesman energy. You get what I'm saying? That's like what kind of what I have. Somebody who is like knows what to say or how to work someone or how to manipulate them. Or cause again, I just feel like someone starts crying or something, and it makes someone feel really bad. But it's like all we do is fight anyway. So why are we even together? I want to move out, and someone is like really upset. How will you support yourself financially? How will I have to support myself? Support myself about the kids all of these reasons but somebody wants to leave a situation could be a cancer it's very strong cancer here somebody wants to leave they're not happy they want to they want to work on something new now I do not do um, legal or health related readings okay you have to seek professional counsel for that but for some of you I do want to say it could be that maybe someone does struggle with like mental health issues and they use that to their advantage to have some kind of control over this person like their depression is back or you know their eating disorder or whatever right they could use this as like oh I need you to come back because I cannot handle being alone I miss you mm. like then we have the letter here and we have one who's like holding a letter and she's like grieving if she's read it and it's like weighing heavily on this person like Maybe someone's like, you know, mental health is like really struggling or something. 
and that's what they've used to like hold on to this person. Again, I will never justify negative actions, behaviors, etc. But we do want to understand this person. We do want to understand their mindset. We want to understand why they may have be acting a certain way or do certain things um, from their perspective. You're missing this person and wanting to be together with them. And now you may see them as someone who's grieving. Though they may be happy about what's ahead of them, they can still grieve the past, what they're walking away from. Maybe you feel like they feel a lot of sense of like responsibility or obligation to this person and it's really painful. I think this person is like moving out of a situation or moving away from someone but they keep pulling them back in maybe this person has said many times in the past I'm gonna leave you know but then someone kind of comes in and they use this whatever the manipulation or pull they have to their advantage to keep this person from moving on or to get them to come back around but you love this person and you've been there you've been waiting for them Like you do understand their pain or their situation. But I think that you're aware that this person manipulates them and that maybe your person has like a really big heart. They care too much. I think you're really trying to inspire this person to support them to be there for them to listen you're so compassionate so empathetic toward them like you do know how much this affects them but you know they have the power to make this change somebody might resist the change but it's really up to them they can manifest as they can create but they have to stay focused they can't let this person backtrack or sidetrack them they may use family to manipulate them, but you and this person have the same goals as ultimately to be together and have this. Some of you really want to have children with this person, or you may already, but in your person's energy, they're having a really hard time here. This is very heavy because they're telling someone, I don't want to be together anymore, but this person I don't think that this person even really cares to be with them anymore. They may love them, but I don't think it's in the way that they sh need to. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's more so about control, it's comfort, familiarity. Like this, I see this person like trying to walk away from a situation, but like stopping and feeling so much guilt. Like it eats away at them. There's like so much fear and worry and doubt. Like they're feeling very restless. This person might be having trouble sleeping or having some type of health issues themselves. Like a lot of anxiety, depression even. It's very, it's very heavy, it's very dark. I think this person feels so much guilt. And like you're sympathetic because you understand. They're not, they're, they're kind, they're a gentle person, they're a compassionate person. And they get taken advantage of. Like someone manipulates them into staying. Like, don't go. What about us? And it's so hard for this person because they they feel so responsible. Like they're the, the, they have to stick around out of a guilt for this other person. And they don't want bad things to happen to them. They don't want them to be sad. They don't want to break this person's heart. But they've outgrown them. Some of them, they might have got together with this person when they were very young. Or they've been together a long time and they've really grown apart. But this person is trying to walk away. It's not easy. It's definitely going to be really hard, but they are trying to walk away from the situation. I think this person is just feeling very uncertain right now because they're feeling a lot of guilt. Like this person has really prioritized taking care of this other person, making sure their needs were met. But this person, they feel badly because this person, they don't know what they're going to do. Like they may even like go keep coming back to this person because they feel so badly for how this person's like reacting or how much pain they're in or how much they, you know, rely on them in some way. Like they guilt them. That's not fair to them. Okay, what do you need to know? What does this person want to tell you? What does this person want to tell the collective? Please. Let's see, what is this? Okay. I've been searching for you online. So this person keeps like looking at your photos or going back to you, you know, even if they can't physically be with you. They look for you because they're 
missing you, wanting to be close to you, feeling stuck. You're my weakness. They can't stop having these feelings. They can't stop wanting you, desiring you. Because, again, you've always been this person for them that's so, like, this might have been going on for a while. Someone who's always just been so, like, loving and affectionate and supportive, comforting, dreaming of our future. This person really does see themselves with you. I keep beginning to write write it to you, but deleting it before I hit send. There's so much they want to tell you, but they also may feel a lot of guilt too because of how the situation has kind of manifested. I know you see me in a different light now. They, they think that you're really discouraged. They think that you might think of them differently because they haven't been strong enough to just sever this tie with this person and you know wash their hands of it and you know I'm done. Um, I hate to see you cry, but I'm over it. They feel so much guilt, and they, they're worried that you might think less of them or that they don't feel the same way, but this person still has hope for the future here. They don't know what's going to happen, but they are walking away. It's, it's not going to be easy, and this person still may try to manipulate them and make things difficult, but if they can remain focused and confident here, I think that this person would even be happier. It may be a hard transition, but they may even be happier because they're not happy in this situation either. They just don't want to lose what they have. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. I do offer personal readings. There's a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.